My name is Roger D. Wilson and I'm a film scientist. To me, a film scientist is, well, you break it down, uh, experimental film scientist. So experiment, you, uh, you, you're you experimenting with something unknown, you're challenging yourself. Uh, a film is a piece of uh, cellulose, uh, emulsion coated, uh, sensitive to light. Um, and a scientist is someone who has an idea and they want to uh, kind of solve it and figure it out and test things. So that's why I call myself a scientist um, because I'm constantly kind of finding different ways of doing things like what can I do? Um, what can I take film and what can I do to it? Uh, how can I study it kind of thing? And find new ways of using it uh, and try to, because film's been around for for so long, film's been around, and it's always been kind of this medium that a lot of people kind of go to. Uh, but it kind of, at one point, it was like it was discovered, and they kind of worked it out, and and then it was kind of a lot of it was kind of then okay, well we have it perfected, this not go any farther. But uh, there's still so much to do. I just recently did a, a, a residency here at Daimon. Um, and uh, I learned that I can process black and white film with grape juice. Uh, so, you know, 99 cents for a thing of Walter's grape juice if you ever need to process film in the, in the middle of uh, somewhere where you can't get the developers. One program that I really like that I've been inspired by over the years is um, through the Canadian Film Institute and CAF, their Cafe X program. Uh, I find that if you want to look at experimental work, that is the, the program to check out. Um, and usually they have three or four hours a year, so it's not all the time, uh, but definitely they always bring in very interesting uh, artists. Um, that's one thing I find that Ottawa is missing is, uh, is experimental work. Um, available light, they do some programming, um, you know, IFCO does some programming, but not like it's usually a mix of experimental narrative, that sort of thing. There's not a really huge uh, you know, opportunities to see experimental work on a regular basis. So that's something I think Ottawa needs. Well, I've always been inspired by Norm McLaren. Uh, so he was an NFB filmmaker. Um, his process and just how he explored the different techniques and that um, kind of inspired me. But also Phil Hoffman, uh, you know, Rick Hancock, who is actually from Ottawa as well. Uh, there's so many, Amanda Don Christie, uh, um, and local too, uh, Kelly Egan, who, uh, who is kind of between Ottawa and Peterborough and, and Toronto, but her work as well, very talented, very experimental as well. Uh, and Steve Walsh, there's so many Canadian, like mainly Canadian filmmakers. Uh, like there's tons of filmmakers all around the world that work with the medium like I do, but there's a lot in Canada, so a lot of my inspiration comes from them. I just finished actually uh, also a film called Big Goods for Norman. Um, and that film is a color film, uh, and uh, it was for a tribute to Norm Clarence's uh, 100th anniversary of his birth. And the film was entirely made by baking it in the oven, so I did a few different things and mixed it with sugar and things like that, different food colors, and baked it in the oven about five times each time, about 30 minutes kind of thing. So, uh, so the film was completely cooked in my oven, that's how it was created. When I was in film school, I was taught that film was very sensitive, you have to treat it a certain way or, you, or you're just gonna waste it. And I've learned that that's totally a load of crap. <laughs> you can do so much. I've buried film in the ground for months on end uh, and then taken it out and cleaned it off, run it through my camera and have been able to expose the images on it. As long, the only thing that harms film is direct light. That is all it's going to do. It. So if you treat it properly, you can do tons of stuff. With it. Um, also, just watching other, you know, uh, you know, whenever you can, go to screenings and watch other people's work because the inspiration kind of leads to you getting up and just doing it kind of thing as well.